I'm going to show you how you can copy a list of citations from a document outside of your Concord account and paste them into a list within your Concord account. I'll share with you an example. Let's say you ask the first reader of your branch church to share with you the readings they read from the desk last week, and they send the readings to you in a Word document. The first thing you might want to do is to create a new list so you have a place to import these citations into Concord. I'm going to title that list Love because that was the topic of the readings that week. And I'm going to give the list a label Wednesday Readings. Now I'm going to save that list. Saving the list brings up these three options, Add Citation, Add Text, or Import. I'm going to choose Import. This brings up the Import Citations box in the middle. Here we have a few instructions. It tells me I can input up to 3,000 citations separated by line breaks. So this means I am going to put each citation on an individual, on its own line, rather than separating them on one line by a comma or a semicolon. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the document that was sent to me. In this case, it's a Word document, but you could also receive these um, citations in an email or a different type of document, a PDF possibly. So now what you're going to do is you're going to copy these citations. And note before I do that that they were sent to me with numbers, and the numbers have been formatted with the parentheses, and that's the correct way to do it. If it had been one and a, a period or one and a dash, I would have needed to change these to the parentheses. They also can be um, pasted into Concord without numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these. The other way you could copy them is if you have a PC, you could use the keyboard shortcut of Control C. Or if you have a Mac, you could use Command C, and those will do the same thing. The next thing I'm going to do is go back into my Concord account, into my Import Citations box. Now I'm going to put my cursor in the box and I'm going to paste my citations. So I'm going to go ahead and use paste rather than the keyboard shortcut, but you can definitely use Control V on a PC or Command V on a Mac. So now my citations have all been pasted into this box and I'm going to click Validate. This brings up any problems that I may have importing the citations. Invalid citation structure and here an invalid verse. So anything that needs to be fixed is going to be read. Now I have here Bible, Science and Health, and Hymnal that need to be fixed. So I can do this one of two ways. I can go in and click in the box to add it as free text and you see that passed it. So I could do each one individually. Or if I have a really long list of citations and maybe quite a few entries that are text that need to be added as free text, I will show you how to do that. I'm going to undo these checks and I'm going to do it all at once by clicking add as free text and that immediately has passed these three that needed to be fixed. Now for Romans 8, 1 to 7, 40, this is an invalid verse 40. It tells me what is wrong with this. Romans, doesn't, Romans 8 does not have a verse 40, so that is why this is invalid. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to click on the pencil icon and I'm going to make the change here. 
I'm going to go ahead and just take out the 40. Here I have three options. I'm going to save this one but by clicking on this icon. If I were to click on the X, that would simply put the citation back the way it was. And if I click on the garbage can, that's going to delete the entire citation. But instead, I'm going to, I'm going to save it because I want to have Romans 8, 1 to 7 in my list. So now here it is. It's been edited, saved, and it passes. So I have no more red and everything has passed. Now I'm going to import. I'm ready to import into my list. All the citations now have been imported and they're ready for anything I want to edit or um, if I want to move things around, I can. I can move citations. I can edit them. I can add annotations if I want. I could also add text. Another thing I can do is going up to the list options menu. I can say edit list. And now this will allow me to either make changes if I want to change my title or my label. I can also turn numbering on. And I'm going to turn numbering on by book. And I'll show you what this means. So now my Bible is numbered. 1, 2, 3, 4, my science and health, 1, 2, 3, 4, and my hymnal is 1. I also can choose to look at my list in the expanded version by clicking on this icon. And now they are all expanded. And if I want to read through them in my center panel, I just click on that citation and it brings it up. And if I want to go through my entire list, I can just click on the next button and this will bring each one up so that I can go ahead and read it. And I can also undo the expanded version and collapse it into just citation mode.